Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create quick charts in Excel 2010. So first off, let's take a look at some data. I have two columns in my spreadsheet here. In column A, I've got the names of students represented in this case by the each letter of the alphabet. So I've got 26 students listed here in my class. And in column B, I've got the grades in, in percentages for the results of a test score for each student. And I can see that I've got a, quite a range of data here. And what I'd like to be able to do is to have a visual representation of that data. Now, I could, of course, use some of Excel's own charting tools to create bar charts and the like. Uh, but I want to have something that I can look at here in the spreadsheet itself. So I want to embed in column C uh, something that represents the scale or the grade for each student. Now, there's a neat Excel trick that you can use with the repeat function. The repeat function, the syntax of it is here on the right-hand side. And this allows us to repeat a piece of text a certain number of times. The syntax for it is the REPT function, and then in brackets, the text you want to repeat, and then the number of times you want to repeat that text and follow that with an, with an enclosed bracket. If I want to, for example, in this example here, if I want to repeat the letter X 25 times, the repeat function formula would, would be as follows, REPT, and in brackets, the text, don't forget to enclose it in inverted commas, and comma 25. So what that will do is it will repeat the letter X 25 times in whatever cell I enter that formula. So let's see how we can use that to give us a, a visual representation of our grades over here on the left-hand side. So I'll just move these out of the way a little bit for the moment. And in my first cell here, I want to be able to use my syntax formula to uh, visually represent the value 45 for student A. So I'm going to type in equals or EPT and in brackets. Uh, Excel, as always with functions, displays the actual syntax here in front of you so that you can, you can type it out. And I'm going to repeat the letter uh, capital I. You'll see why in a moment. So I'll put that in inverted commas, capital I, comma. And I want to repeat it a certain number of times, but based on the value here in column B. So I'm not going to type in 45 as the value in column B, in, in cell B2 here. I'm just going to put in a cell reference to it, B2, by clicking on that cell and pressing uh, the enclosed bracket and pressing enter. And what has happened here is that, as you can see in my formula, I've got the capital letter I repeated 45 times, and that's a cell reference. To show how the difference that might make, if I change this from 45 to, say, 75, watch the uh, bar here of capital I's increase out, and there are actually 75 capital I's in that bar there. So let me just change this first value back to 45, as it was originally. And now, as this is a formula, I can use Excel's copy formula tool, uh, copy fill tool, to copy that formula down to the rest of all the values. So I'm just going to pick up the bottom right hand corner of cell B C2 and drag it down to row, row 27 so as I can incorporate student number Z. And you can see straight away I've got each for each repeat formula repeating the letter I the number of times that you see in the grades. So I've got a visual representation of the grades here. Now, that's a little bit messy here, so let's uh, sort this data a little bit here. If I want to sort this from, say, um, highs to low, uh, I can click on column C, go to the data ribbon across the top, and in the center here we have a sort the sorting tool, which will sort the selection so that the highest values are at the top of the column. So let's select that. Uh, accept Excel's warning to expand the selection, so uh, click on sort here. And you can see now that my uh, values are displayed in a little bit more meaningful form. I can see who's up at the top and who's down at the bottom in my list of um, um, bars on my quick chart here. As this is text, there's a, quite a few things I can do with this. So, for example, just mark all the text, click the home ribbon, and I can make it bold if I want to make it uh, show a little bit stronger. And I can even change the color. In this case here, I'm going to change the color to red so that I can represent all the data in this. Or I can choose to, say, for example, represent certain values by different colors. So, for example, any value uh, 60 and over, represent that by the color blue. Uh, any value under... Uh, 50 I can and 40, I can represent that by a color, say, um, purple. And then the last values, I can represent those by different colors, such as brown. And I can do any kind of uh, tricks with my data there to give me a visual representation um, of the grades for my student test. So that's how you use um, quick charts in Excel using the repeat formula. I hope you found this video useful. 
Thank you for your attention.